Hey everybody, it's Jack from The Modern Coder and on this coding tip of the day, I'm gonna show you how to add git branch information to your ZSH prompt. So first off, ZSH, short for Z prompt, is non-standard. So many developers like myself prefer it as it adds some niceties that the more standard bash shell does not have. But I won't go into the differences exactly between the two. I left a link to an article that does a good job explaining that. But long story short, if you're using bash, this tip will not work. And if you're not sure which shell you're running, you can always run echo shell in your terminal to find out. Anyways, as you can see, I'm starting off with a clean slate, your bare bones out of the box prompt. And if I run git status, you can see I'm currently in a directory tracked by git. And I want to display some of that version control info in my prompt. So first step is going to be to open up your ZSH RC file. Now, if you're just running ZSH, but you've never done any customization, you can go ahead and create this file now like this. Now, if you have already created it or you just created it now, you can just go ahead and open it in your favorite text editor. I'm just going to use Sublime for ease of visualization on the screencast. And yes to all the haters out there, I'm not using Vim this time. So let's start off by giving our prompt a little bit of life. And so this is where ZSH really shines over bash. All I need to do is define the prompt variable. And in this case, I'm also using set opt prompt subset to allow me to use these dollar sign um, curly brace matchers in the prompt as well. So if I just save this and then go down back down to my terminal and reload, you can see that now I'm displaying my username and the current directory that I'm in. Okay, so that's the first step. Now you can go a lot further with this. ZSH provides a lot more customization here in the area of like colors and stuff like that. Now I won't go into that now because we're just gonna be focusing on Git, but know that if you know that if you wanna customize more, it's out there. Okay, first thing we wanna to do to get this versioning control info is to auto load VCS info and then run it in a pre command. So what this will do is it'll make version control information available in the form of a variable that we can use below when we set our prompt. So now all we need to do is go ahead down to our prompt definition and drop in that special variable. So now if we reload, go back to terminal and source our file again, you can see that now we have some version control info. Now it's not very pretty, so let's go ahead and fix some of that now. So let's hop back up over to our ZSHRC file and we can customize the way our VCS info looks by using ZStyle. So what this command will do is it will format the version control info variable down here for git and we're going to define our custom string that we want to display so in this case i just want the branch information so i'm just going to call on branch and then percent sign v which will tell us the branch so if i save this file go back to terminal and then reload it you can see there you go we are now on branch master and if i go ahead and check out another branch branch x you can see that I switched to a new branch and that new branch is displayed in the prompt. And that's really it. So now we've just scratched the surface of what VCS info can provide. It provides a plethora of other information besides just the branch info, like staged and unstaged changes, um, stash information, etc., etc. And if you want to go further and explore that, I've left a link in my written article to a write up by Arjan, and he does a really great job of explaining kind of where you could go from here. But anyways, that's it. I hope that you found this video informative. If you did, leave a like. And if not, or you have questions or have suggestions for something I can do better, please leave a comment. And if you have an idea or a suggestion for the next coding tip of the day, also leave it down in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.